All right, so hi guys. Hopefully my audio is um, coming through a lot better than before. Also, uh, sorry as always for the weird buffering or if there is a lag with my webcam. I've, I've literally looked up every way to fix it and uh, I, I can't figure it out. So again, sorry, but I also don't tend to make a lot of webcam -y videos. Oh, and I just booped it, so that's not going to help either. But um, hopefully I can figure it out soon. But anyway, uh, I thought, because it has been a long, long while, and people seem to really like my, oh, hello, notifications. People seem to like these kind of things, and I, I felt like I should, uh, I should share it. So this is a what's in my pencil case, pencil bag video, because I technically have two now. So I have this ramen one that I got at San Japan from Vexingly Yours. We did a... Did we do a trade for this one? No, we did a button trade. I bought this one, so. They made the ramen design, and in here I keep my inking pens and my sketching material, mostly the inking pens here. Um, in my other one I have my uh, Copics and my markers. But uh, the little charm I have on here is done by my buddy Pastel Monster of her baby Drizzle. I believe this is Drizzle. If they're Drizzle or... No, I'm pretty sure it's Drizzle. It's either Drizzle or Cookie. I always get them confused. Sorry, Brie. But yeah, let's uh, let's get into this. So I tend to have a Fiber Castell. I just got this as a newer one. A Fiber Castell needed eraser. This is the one I have at my desk that I use all the time. I, I got it cheaper on Amazon to get a pack. It was like a pack of five for $10. So that's that's a really good deal, at least in my book. I know you can get them cheaper if you go in store, but in all the hobby shops in my area, they only sell single ones, and I wanted more than just one, so that's me. And I also don't live close to a dick blick, so there's no real reason for that, so. And here I have some white jelly rolls in eight, just for highlights and doodads. I have my handy dandy, because I don't like wasting supplies. I have my handy dandy, uh... Prismacolor multi-liners for my sketchbook stuff and uh, my ACO stuff. I just have the very basic inking set. If it'll... Are you going to focus? No? You don't want to focus? All right, it doesn't want to focus. Sorry, again, not much I can do. And I don't have a rig to film with my phone like all the hipsters do. So, you know, who knows? Maybe someday, but I also need to kind of get a new phone. My phone is, uh, if you see all the cracks on it, my phone is very trashed. Yes, I'm one of those people. Don't fight me. But I really like the Prismacolor Multiliners. I think they're fine. They're waterproof, alcohol-proof, and I've had this set for literal years. Uh, I used to have a set of the Copic SP liners and Copic Multiliners, and to me, they were good, but... I didn't see much of a difference in the cheaper brands. Then again, I don't professionally ink. So, you know, for, for me, I'd rather save my money and, you know, just do a couple things here and there that work for me. And then uh, out of the, the Copic liners I do still have is I have the purple set of multi-liners because uh, purple is my favorite color. Surprise, surprise. So these are like the only Copic multi-liners I have anymore. And then I have my two Sakura... Um, my two sock no, this one's not a soccer. This was a karatake. My two brush pens that are both filled with Bombay India ink in high carb. I have my Pentel pocket, Pentel pocket brush. My, yeah, my, it's the Pentel brand. That's the brush pen that everybody had. And then I have my karatake, which this one actually, I'm wrong. This one isn't full of the Bombay because I made the mistake because uh, my Bombay is waterproof. This is not um, of the, the ink that it just came with. I had a couple of packs, and I like this brush pen a lot because I like the metal barrel. Um, I actually love the feel of metal pens. I'm, I'm a weird texture person, but this one's really fun if I want to do just inking work. So, yep, those are my brush pens. And then I keep a blue and a black ballpoint pen for sketching. Sometimes I like just sketching in pen. And I found out, which I didn't know, these are waterproof. So if you're doing watercolors, you can use just the basic Bic cheap ass uh pens to ink with obviously you probably have smearing if you don't know how to use a big pen but 
they're waterproof and they work really great. In fact, my friend uh, Kaylee uses them in her watercolors all the freaking time. That's where I learned they were waterproof. And I thought that was, I thought that was neat. And then I have a, well, I technically have three. So this wasn't in the pencil because in case I was drawing it. So I have a, the basic paper mate. I think this is 0.5. Yeah, 0.5 pen. And then I have a Colerase Scarlet Red that's getting, getting teen tiny. And then I have a Graphic Gear 500.3 pencil. And I've had this pencil since I was in college. It's lasted me that entire time. Same with the lead. So again, I'm, I'm trying to be more minimalist, but, you know, use up supplies that I have. There's no point in me wasting money and, and going out buying supplies I don't need and or use often. So... There's that for the sketching one. And then I guess I can show this. So my current sketchbook, I told myself I wasn't going to start a new sketchbook, but uh, I had this defect wood sketchbook that my buddy Holly made for me back when she had a laser. Um, and this was, I still have a couple left um, that will probably go up in my store, depending on if they sell it uh, Anime Impulse or not. I'm doing Anime Impulse uh, 2020. If you guys want to know, I... And I also think with my financial situation, that might be my only con of the year. We don't know for sure, but eh. So, uh, but yeah, the pretty much once I sell out of these, that's it. Because she doesn't have her laser anymore. And honestly, I really like how she does them. Because she put really nice paper in it. And so, yeah, anyway, uh, this was a design that I made. So the art's mine. And then I also have my little... My, uh, my watermark burned into the back. So, yeah, this is the current sketchbook I've been working in, just uh, in between things for warm-ups and doodles and stuff. So, uh, don't expect a sketchbook video anytime soon because this is a thick boy. And uh, ever since I got my iPad, sadly, uh, I've been using this a lot. And uh, that's something else I'll share, I guess. Something else is that... Um, so this, uh, originally, I thought it was rose gold. It came out much more pinky. And again, I'm... I'm I'm not going to have them just throw it a fuck away. It works fine. So I keep my eye pencil in here. Um, I got a little rubber grip for it and a little cap thing because I like having the grip. I don't like just the naked pen. But it has two more slots to hold a pen and uh, this pocket to hold nibs, which I do need to buy next paycheck just to be safe. But pretty much, yeah, since I've gotten my iPad, I've done a lot of my stuff on this because digital art is my slut. So <laughs> now we're gonna get into my other pencil case, which is my really old EV case. I'm uh, looking for a new pencil case, actually. There's a couple of artists I've been looking at to get a new one. Not that this is bad, it's just, I, it's, it's really dirty because <laughs> I've had it for years. But, uh, and then here's a little EV charm that I put on it that I made. So here are my Copics, the only Copics I kept, actually, which were my, my gray set. I have more grays than this, but these are the ones that I currently keep in me. I like to alternate them out when I want to do stuff. So this is my neutral gray set. I have all 10 of them. And uh, I put the washi tape on the bullet nib side. So I know which side's the bullet nib. And uh, it's pretty much me just being more lazy because uh, that, you know, 0.3 of a second that I have to look at the cap. And there's a helicopter. Great. Let's see how that comes back in uh, post. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it saves me a little bit of time. And so, yeah, that's uh, those are my pencil cases and what I carry around with me uh, when I don't have my iPad with me. I bring that sketchbook. I bring my two pencil cases. Same if I'm going over to a friend's house or something. And let me know what you guys keep in your pencil cases because I'd like to know because I used to be like a person that would keep a bunch of stuff in their pencil cases. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will, no, I guess I'll just end it here. So, uh, as always, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.